Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the Pennsylvania Toy Collector here in White Oak, PA. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. People. And we've got some new figures to review, and this is all from the Dollar Tree Toy Line Final Faction. And these are all the new characters. Plus, we got the Battle Buggy as well. We're going to look at each and every figure first before we look at the Battle Buggy. Let's start out with Churro. And Churro has a dog mech suit, and he's a little tiny dog. Just to show you the little tiny dog in the mech suit, I have to get him out. But that opens up so you can go in the mech suit like that. But here we got little Churro. Isn't he precious? Oh, That's a cute little dog. And he just goes inside his mech suit. Like so. And he can pilot the thing. And he'd be like... Rawr, 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 and fly into battle. He's got some wings. So he could fly. I got this with another accessory pack because I didn't have wings for Churro. Just to show you, this is the accessory pack I got. Just so he could fly. And I gave Churro some guns. Ain't that neat? That's all there is to say for the first action figure, which is Churro. One of the figures we've been needing from the Alpha Team. Next, we got another member of the Alpha team. This guy is Scope. And he's a sniper. Ain't that nice? You get a product shot of Scope. And he gets his trusty sniper rifle, so he can go long range in some bad carn with that. He doesn't hold it very well, so when you get it in his hand, you got to make sure he's holding it well. But then you can go pew pew, bang bang, pew pew, bang bang with the sniper rifle. And he also gets these little pistols. Why wouldn't I show off the little pistols he gets? Then he can go all double wheeled in pew pew, bang bang, pew pew, bang bang. And this is a good looking action figure for this Final Faction line. I just love picking these figures up from Dollar Tree, and they look nice. They look nice to go on my toy shelf of my Final Faction shelf. Dollar Tree, you keep making this Final Faction line, and I'm going to keep enjoying it. Hands down, and this is an exclusive line to Dollar Tree. They keep amazing me with every figure they make. And that's all there is to say for Scope here. Next we got Tarn. And this guy is pretty cool. Here we got Tarn. And the packaging of Tarn, that's what he looks like. And he is a undercover unknown so he's like an undercover secret agent. I can't read the rest of that. Sorry, I can only read a little bit. But I know that he's a spy about him. He's got these cool blades on his arms. Give me off Wolverine vibes, if you know what I mean. Wow. But he can also hold his pistol, which is easy for him to hold. You just... Into his hand and go pew pew bang bang with that little pistol, which is nice. But totally, he gives me some Wolverine vibes about him. And of course, you could switch his face around and you get another face face option, which is nice because he's an alien spy for the final faction. Ain't that nice? And that sculpt ain't too bad. Well, I'll probably just splay him with his human face because, man, 
he looked good with the human face on. You know what I mean? That's all there is to say for Tarn. Another member of the Alpha Team, if you know what I mean. Next, we got this. We got Riptide. Another member of the Alpha Team. And he is like the underwater specialist. Which is nice. He looks pretty cool. I dig Riptide. He's pretty cool. And you can't see his face if you remove the mask. And he does have a good looking face. Look at that. Really well sculpted. Really well painted. I dig it. Well, that's all there is to say for Alpha Team member Riptide. He's ready to dive into action. Next, we got the last figure. Figure. This is the Mace Wilden chick. I can't keep track of her name for the life of me. But she is pretty hardcore with that club. She can go clubbing some Karn with that. But her name will be shown here on the packaging and here on the channel. But yeah... She is a pretty cool member of the Alpha Team. But man, next on the figure list, list, we'll be looking at the boxes to the Battle Buggy. Which we finally got. I was so happy to get these. You got these members of the Alpha Team. You put the Alpha Team right in the Battle Buggy. Guns blazing, which is nice. I love that. And that, that's the first pack option and display. And here's the second pack, which adds arm, adds armor and armaments to this vehicle, which looks really nice. And that's all there is to say for the packagings. Let's look at the this behemoth of a battle buggy. We got I put steadfast drive in it because. I could totally see him driving this thing. And we got Saber and Rook manning the huge machine guns. We got these movable, movable machine guns, which look awesome. And you're probably wondering, why would I get this? Well, it's because I just love this Final Faction line from Dollar Tree. It's that good. And these guys can totally go pew pew, bang bang, pew pew, bang bang. And they're just that much fun to mess around with and display. Would I recommend you pick up these new figures from the Final Faction? I'd say yes. These guys are worth it. If you love action figures as much as I do, pick these guys up. You will not regret it. And this is why Final Faction is one of the best toy lines Dollar Tree has ever released. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out.